Okay, everybody, it's Harry Box, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's January 9th, that's a Tuesday. It wasn't a turnaround Tuesday today. Well, it's too early to tell, but you can see that the indices did roll over in the end. And at the S&P, there's a little left shoulder, head right shoulder, and a breakdown of the neckline today and the trend line of the last four days. So maybe we can see some additional pullback reaction. Right now, that I'm looking at 27.40 and 27.20 as possible pullback areas on the S&P. We break out above 27.60, 27.70.80 range up there, maybe had. At this point, though, the, the markets are extended, particularly the S&P from 2675 to 2760. You know, 85 points straight up pretty much. And on the NDX, we've gone from 6400 to 6700, 300 points. So a pullback of any portion here would almost be appreciated, quite frankly. And it would be good to build the pattern and set us up for next leg up. We'll see. What was, wasn't good today was the technicals. Look at this column over here. Take a quick look, you'll see that advanced declines were 17 to 12 negative on New York, 16 to 13 and a half negative on NASDAQ, up down volume is, let's call it 9 to 8 negative on New York and uh, 11 to 10 negative on NASDAQ. It wasn't for a market that all the indices were actually up on the day, pretty lousy technicals. So we'll just have to see what we get going forward. But tomorrow I'd be a little cautious, the futures are down a little bit tonight. We'll go with that for now. Take a look at the charts that I want to highlight today. <clears throat> Swing trade ADMS up $1.72 or 5.3%, 613,000 traded. If this has 3.7 days to cover according to my last numbers. And what I'm seeing here is a 1 2 and a big 3 4. A fifth wave could take me to mid 40s, maybe even mid 50s at some point up in that area. But for now, today was a nice little up day, but I want to see it get up through that, say, 37 8 zone. We get through that, we're looking at mid 40s. Big day for ALDR. It's a pop from 15 10 18 60. Backed off a point, closed up 235 or 15.5%. A strong buy of 5.1 million. That was the second biggest volume since back in September. Yesterday was the biggest on the breakout. Now, if you look at the overall chart, you'll see the decline top line and base were taken out. And at this point, probably a test, or we may see a test of near 20. We may see that as quickly as tomorrow. The targets are 20, 23, and 25 we, in terms of resistance levels. Ultimately, though, could be a mid to high 30 stock. Six days to cover on that one. ARRY broke out of a coil. Popped to the next resistance level and backed off to test support. What a nice snapback today of 95 cents or almost 8%. Traded 5.8 million and closed into the upper end of the range. range. If we can get through 14.13, I'm looking for a move that tests the 16 and a half, 17 zone quickly. And then we'll see where we go from there. The long range chart is very bullish, particularly if it gets above 16. Four and a half days to cover that. While well, swing blackberries continue to extend as it moved out of its little wedgie, got up to 14.55, close to 14.40. Not a big move, a couple percent, but I'm looking for 16 and 17 going forward. Good momentum. Collegium, I think that this coil may be finished. It came down and bounced today, a little bit of a, a minor day. If I can get volume to come in, the tech bills might improve. The OBV's holding steadily through the consolidation. A good sign that it's been accumulated. After the move, it took this from 9 to 21, about 12 points. Let's call it 11 and a half points. And then the pullback, I would have to say at this point, I'd be looking for something from, I would say 26, 25, 26 range is my near-term target. And then I'm looking at 29. If this number is anywhere near correct, 22.4 days to cover, look out. Court. Well, we gave you a swing on it in August. It did very well. And then for the last three months, it's been doing this. It looks like it popped. Consolidated and popped again today. Today's move of $1.14 or 6% on 3 million, I think was significant enough that it may extend. Let's first look to take out 20 and 3 quarters and then we may be headed to 24.5 range. 5.4 days to cover. DQ, well, after the big hit yesterday, it snapped back and had an inside day today. I'm showing you that because this hit here was followed by that and then we had a consolidation and a run up. We may very well consolidate and then run up some more. Ultimately, high 70s to 80 is a potential target for me. Yesterday's spike low would be my out on the 52. It's a long way from here, though. Global Blood Therapeutics broke out across a double top and jumped 755 or 19% on 4.2 million. Real strong performance. I'd like to see this extend, and I think 59 is my near term target. Maybe 58. Yeah. 8.8 .8 days to cover. I am MU after a little flag goes like that pop today, jumping about um, $1.29 or 8% on 4 million almost. It looks to me like it wants to go to the top of the channel around 20, 20 and a half, and then 25. 9.3 days to cover. 
ITOS popped out of that big coil I showed you the other day and it's extending. And it's already extended from about two and a quarter to four. The spike high in September at about five and a quarter might get tested. If that is the case, five and a quarter is my next target. That could be a substantial move from where we are now. Kodak, well, what can I say about the move of that today? Look at the one minute chart. Pop coil, pop flag, and then pop and run, and then at the end of the day, got up to over 10. Last, this evening, I got up to 10.15. Last is 9.10. Still up another 2.30 off the close. Phenomenal move today. Um, when you see a move like that with a monster, 71 million shares, and that doesn't, I, I believe, include after hours. The stock could be as high as 9 and in, or 10 tomorrow morning. I'll have to keep an eye on that one. I'm sorry, 9 or 10. That was there tonight. It might be as high as 12 tomorrow. That's my target. 18 days to cover short. Wow. Well, Mark popped out yesterday. Today it had a nice little quiet inside day on lower volume. Great technicals. Folks, if this doesn't go to 15, 20, and 29, 29, 30, I don't know, man. Maybe I shouldn't be charting, but that it's what it looks like. Powerful. All you doubters out there. MDXG. Popped big time today. $1.63 at 12% at 4.3 million. Second biggest volume and an up day all year. So for me, this breakout to resistance, if we get through here, we're looking at 17 and a half next with almost 10 days to cover short. A retest of the August highs may be in order. Mime, well, mime, new all time high today, folks. If it came down a wedge and then broke back out again and took the triple top out today, near term targets to 35 and 38 and a half. MRTX, nice snapback. It's gonna be testing or pressing 970 resistance. It gets through that, and I think it might. Looking for 22 and 24 five range. Nectar, monster day. The swing that we gave you in November, not that long ago, in the 24 range, is smoking all the way up to 69 today, almost 70. The next target, $80. Wow, impressive. QNST, Quinn Street. Well, Quinn Street, after coiling for five weeks or four weeks, popped out today. Started yesterday, and you can see the extension today. Looking for a retest of the 10 and a half, 11 zone, then 12 and 14 are your targets. And marijuana stock TWMJ, I just wanted to show you the fact that it reached my $35 target at the long range channel top, and it may be too heated and too far too fast with heavy volume. I wouldn't be overly enthusiastic about it, but I'll tell you, the way it's holding up, it may yet spike into the 40s before this is over. Be very careful with this. Weight Watchers exploded and broke out of the, this consolidation pattern with a second day huge move of 475 or 9% and 5.7 million. 60 was my target. We may get there early tomorrow. We'll see. Beyond that, who knows where this thing can go? Oh boy. Well, we'll see. Five days to cover short. And finally, XNET, which we've been highlighting all week after wedging and popping out and then having a couple of inside days. Boom. I'm looking at this stock, make a run at 27 tomorrow. We get through that, it could fly. It should be interesting. Stay tuned on that one as well. Folks, that's it for tonight. Have a good evening. Let's make some items.